Hi everyone, this is Kelly Leahy, and in this video you will see how to label your data that moved from Legacy Republic to Google Photos. In most cases, the label followed the data, but in some cases, if you're like me, there may be an album or a video that as it moved into the Google Photos area, it somehow lost its label. So let's get started. First of all, a little review. I'm already in my Google Photos, but if you don't remember how to get there, you're logged into your Gmail account, and up near the right side of your Gmail account, there's this waffle. So you clicked on that waffle, and then you chose Google Photos. And then that's how you ended up in your Google Photos account. That's one of many ways to get here. The next thing I want to remind you of is that this is defaulted to photos. So it shows all of your photos and there's no necessarily good order. I mean, it's a date order, but as far as um, things go with transitioning your legacy Republic information, that may not be very easily received in this window. So I'd like to change to a different view. And instead of the photos view, I'd like to change to the album view. So you're gonna click on an album. That's over here now, albums is blue instead of dark gray. And you'll notice that the Google system is looking through your pictures and trying to identify places, things, videos, collages, animations, and movies. That's to help you find what you're looking for. In this case though, we're going to skip that first row and we're gonna skip down to this where it says albums. And you'll see the first square says create albums. That's for another time, that's not for today. And then you'll see a series of, blo uh, of uh, blocks. Each block has a color on it or a photo or a series of photos. This one is labeled and this one is not. This one is a video I happen to know because I've already looked at it. So even if I don't know what it is, it's in my Google Drive. I'm going to click on it because I just moved my Legacy Republic information. I know that it's probably a video and sure enough it is. And I know what this video is, but if I didn't know, I click in the middle of the video. And when I click once in the middle of the video, the video will actually play. I'm going to pause that. If I wanted to, I could write a description over here to the right. And when I write a description over here, that will help the system find this video in the future. But it's not necessary. What really would be awesome is if you click on the back arrow right now and then see this, add a title. You may have a situation like I have where this video moved to Google Photos from Legacy Republic, but didn't, but the title didn't move with it. So this is the price is right. So this is a video clip from a TV show that my son and his friends were on. So now I like that title. I click the checkbox up on the upper left corner. And then that check turns into a back arrow. So I click on the back arrow to go back where I was. And sure enough, there it is. Now I know that black box represents a video call from The Price is Right. If I change my mind in the future and want to name it something different, all I have to do is click on these three dots and I rename the album. I just type in what I want and click on done. And the name is the new name which is really awesome. That's what I did on this one. No, I didn't have to do on this one, but it looks like I'm gonna have to do that on this one too. So I go ahead. I have no clue of what this video is. So the first thing to do is click on it. Then I click once in the middle of the box. It opens up so I can view it. Again, once I, I know what it is, I can add some more info here. I do know what that is now. So I click on the back arrow 
And now this title is going to be Fans of America competition. And then I click on the check box or the check mark, I should say. And now the check mark turns into the back arrow. So I click on the back arrow and I'm finished with that. Now it looks like my albums are in good shape. These are photo albums and scrapbooks I have. And it looks like these have transferred over really well. I don't know if you're noticing, but there are some scrapbooks and photo albums that have a solid color, which is the real cover. And then there's others that whose first page is a picture page. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to fix that so that your scrapbook covers or photo album covers are the real cover of the book. Thanks for listening. And I look forward to explaining that next task to you.